8, 9, 10, and 11, we need to find the percent of change. Mm -hmm. This one, it tells us where to round. That's very kind of them. And it doesn't tell us another thing. You keep forgetting this stuff. Yeah, well, it tells us to indicate whether it's increase or decrease as well. So let's take a closer look at 8. So this is from 78 to 66. And this is, this percent of change is going to come from a fraction. So the first thing we need to do is figure out the change. How much did it change from 78 to 66? Brooklyn? 12. 12. Right. And what was the original value? Well, it started at 78 and then went to 66. So we started with 78. From here, we're going to put this into the calculator. And the decimal I get looks something like this. But yes, you need to multiply this by 100 to make it a percent. So maybe 15.38 percent. Maybe some of you wrote 15.4 percent. Now around it at least to uh, the tenths. That's very good. This one did tell us specifically to go to the hundredth. So this would be the answer. All right, if you write this on the test, you're going to lose a point because it did say to indicate whether it's increase or decrease. This went from something big to something smaller, so it's a decrease.